here we are. In Ingrid has returned to the blog. And we've we've decided to entitle this one, What Good Is It Being Rich If You Can't Make Fun of the Poor? Because Aha. Ingrid would like to share the story of her theory of the financial institutions. Of this country. I am convinced, convinced, Paul, yes, yes. convinced that the financial institutions of this country go ahead and know how to fuck you over. Excuse me. Uh, just because we go ahead and give checks out to pay our rent, our bills, etc., etc., and um, when you have the funds, the check doesn't seem to clear as quickly as you'd like it to clear, but when you don't have the funds, oh, that check is cleared the following day. Zippy. And that's how they fuck you, because they go ahead and stick you with a $35 fee, a $50 fee. Now you check bounce, it's a $35 fee for you, and then a $35 fee for the other organization, exactly. the other party that went ahead right. and cashed it. So now you're out $70 fucking dollars. Exactly. How about that? Well, has this happened to you? Because it certainly has happened to me. My fee is like $38, so you're looking at 80 bucks almost when you get it from both sides. And uh, has this happened to you? What's your story? Send a video, video response, send a text response, a message, whatever. We want to hear from you because many people that I talk to, not only Ingrid, but everybody, is feeling the pinch. But economists will tell you everything's really fine. Is it just a pinch, Paul? I don't think it's a pinch. It's more like a sucker punch. Stab. An old woman once told me that somebody will continue to stab you until you stop them. Well, let's stop them. What are we going that's, ahead and uh, waiting for? That's why we're doing this blog. We want to encourage you. What are you doing out there? Speak why won't you do people? anything? It's as simple as an email, a phone call, whatever you can do. It it's, takes every one of us to do something. Though. Sitting back and doing nothing is not the answer. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, we're being taken advantage of, folks. We're sheep. Once again, I'll repeat it. We are sheep. And, you know, I had to choose between food and gas today. That sucks. Man. And I had to get gas to come to work. I work over the weekend. I had to get the gas to get here. I'm relying on some friends for some dinners. <laughs> but that's what it's come down to. Professional people with professional backgrounds and professional education have been forced to choose between food and gas. Well, the fact is that not even a bachelor's degree nowadays is useful. Now you have to have a master's and go to MBA school. MBA. Um, and, you know, graduate school, whatever school. And Didn't you know that MBAs know everything? I didn't know I that. learned this in MBA school. <laughs> you will be more productive if you work all day long. 365 days a year. You act like a robot. No vacation. Uh, 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 uh. Laughing causes lack of productivity. <laughs> no laughter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, people. Let's, let's get up and do something. Because this is terrible. We're being taken advantage by these massive corporations. These massive financial institutions. Look around and see how many banks have merged I mean, we're going ahead and giving our money to these people and trusting our money to these people that go ahead and if you screw up once they go ahead and stick it to you and it's terrible and it, it shouldn't be that way it shouldn't right because there's really no rules when it comes to uh you know your credit report there's no rule book you don't know you know uh, how to make something better by doing X, Y, and Z to make to improve your credit report. Yes, we know the basics, but it really is in a shambles. And there's three credit reporting agencies, and they have free will to do whatever they want. They have very lax regulations. We're all out there willy-nilly, and basically that can rule your entire life. If you make mistakes young, they can stay with you for decades. For decades, yeah. And I've made that, my mistakes very young. And I am still paying, paying, yeah, paying interest, cause like 
bills haven't gone down. <laughs> so what can we do? What can you do? You can only do what you can do, one step at a time. Whatever is feasible for you, whatever is acceptable for you to do, but you have to do something. If nothing is done, nothing will change. Speak up, people. Speak up. That's what we have to do. We have to speak up and let these executives that are stealing our money because they are stealing our money why are these executives of these companies going ahead and getting paid 80 some odd million dollars a year what do you do with 80 something million dollars a year what would you do with 80 million dollars a year i actually if i had 80 million dollars i would create a program for executives other executives that make 80 million dollars and these outrageous fortunes and try to educate them on the humanity of this great country of ours that was which was based on a capitalist society, but also a moral society. Now, I use these terms loosely because I think there has to be some common respect for your fellow man, especially, again, the, the, what this country was based on. And it's, it's not where we, we're not where we should be. And it's not fucking everybody just to get ahead. That's not what this is all about. And if you think it is, then, you know, we are seeing the 1970s repeat. We are seeing a depression repeat. And we are going to see the fleecing and the destruction of one of the greatest countries in the world. And that's because you don't participate. Uh, free country, freedom of speech, we need to speak up. Because you know what? This is hurting our pockets. And it's not just down here in South Florida. It's not. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. I have friends up north that are feeling the pinch. It's, I think, well, it's not a pinch. It's a, it's a stab. Yeah, it's a stab. Feeling it, and at our age, we shouldn't be struggling like, you know, 19-year-old freshmen in college. Right, and see, that's the other thing. <laughs> that people, they, they, be, they become to accept this as what is normal. And this is very it's much not, not normal. It's not normal for two adults to be working and not be able to make the end, uh, ends meet. It really is not normal to not be able to raise your family and get quality education and be a quality society. What are we about? Are we about a, a society of losers that just take what's given to us? Are we the sheep? No, I think we are the sheep. We just keep on moving along, moving along, and one by one, we are all getting slaughtered. Um, by these financial institutions, by the government. We continue to vote these people in. Let's stop the nonsense. Knowledge is the key, people. Find out. Dig into your, your local politician and find out who they are before you vote them into office and, and things like that that matter. Right. And, you know, we have the power because we're the people. And there's a lot more of us than there are of them. And that is powerful. So do something, okay, folks? Power is always in numbers. And if the mass speaks up, they have to listen. They have to, people. So get up, get out of your chairs, get out of your seats, and find out. Find out who these people are, um, who are the people that are running your banks, and find out if they do have a human bone in their body <laughs> and can understand, hey, you know what? I'm going through tough times, but don't we don't are. wait for me to be broke so I can go ahead and, uh, you know, take your money and more of it. Yeah, we're all in this together. <laughs> Power to the people! PL Productions 2008.